G'day, I'm Chris, and this is my 85 930 Turbo. I've owned it just on 10 years. In 95 when they came out to Australia, they were 108,000 Australian dollars. Three point three litre, three hundred horsepower. Just a few little things that I've done with the car. When they came out, they came out with 7 inch fuses on the front, 8 inch fuses to the back. And then later on Porsche brought out a 9 inch. So I put the 9 inch to the back and put the 8s to the front. Just gives it an, a bit more of a fatter look. A couple of things that differ from the 85 to the previous models. Um, the aerial for the 85 model is in the front windscreen. And as you can see by the interior, the 85 model came out with very high bucket seats now I just want to tell you a couple of little things for anybody that's ever thinking about buying a 930 turbo because they're air cooled um, I'll just show you something here. This is your temperature gauge. And you can just see where my finger is. There's a little mark there. Well, I never ever use the turbo if my temperature is not at its right operating temperature. So I always... I always... Um, mainly kick it over within a half a minute I start driving and just change gears around 2,000 revs until the motors at its right temperature very important and one of the best things about these well the turbo doesn't really come on until about 3,200 revs so I can be driving at a very hot day I never ever use a turbo when it's a really hot day and if I'm out in the open road I can be in fourth gear 140 k's and it's only doing 3,000 revs then the turbo is not even being used apart from you know the obvious, obvious, obvious looks of the 930. You know I think it's way ahead of its time. Not only is it a great looking car, um, they're just a fantastic car to drive, and obviously a fantastic car to own as well.
I've had all my rubbers just touched up. Put a nice dual exhaust on it. Gives it a really nice throaty sound. Between 1977 and 1985, only 180 930s came into Australia. and I hope you enjoyed my car.